Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. My name is Glitch. Today we are looking at making a semi-automatic cauldron filler for you to use in your survival world. Now just like in real life, water is an essential resource within Minecraft. And within the game you often need it to for farming, for redstone builds, or most commonly potion brewing. But therein lies the problem. Back in the early versions of Minecraft, the cauldron was added to the game as a means to brew potion. It was later swapped out for the brewing stand, but when that happened, it lost a lot of its use in that regard. Because regardless of how, may, how much you have in it, a cauldron will only hold enough water to fill three bottles, which leaves the player the option of physics defined trapdoors, a 2x2 two two hole in the floor or ground that looks kind of ugly no matter how you try and dress it up, or an inventory that looks a little like this. There is, however, a way to use waterlogged blocks that will hold a water source and then fill the cauldron without any exposed redstone. Now, because of differences between how waterlog, um, water physics and how waterlog blocks behave in uh, between Bedrock and Java Edition, and as well as the fact that in Java, flowing water will not fill a cauldron, uh, this build is going to be exclusive to the Bedrock Edition. Now, the build itself functions by having a waterlog block here. And then we've already taken the water out of our cauldron. So this is actually a waterlogged stair facing the other direction. So now that we've taken the water out, we hit the button. A sticky piston pulls the, the cauldron back. It goes under the flowing water and comes out filled up. And therefore, we can go ahead and fill our water bottle to do some more brewing. So now that we've looked at how the build is used, Let's move over to a creative world and dive into the actual build. For this build, you will need the following supplies. 12 structure blocks, one stair, a water bucket, one redstone dust, one redstone torch, a redstone repeater, a sticky piston, a button of your choice, and of course you will need your cauldron. You will also need a 3x3 area for the build, and the build itself is two blocks tall and will have a one block channel in the floor on one side. So to start things off, place down your cauldron on the front center block of the build, and then skip one block and place your sticky piston facing forward towards your cauldron. Next, break out the two blocks on the right side of the build next to your cauldron Place down a piece of redstone dust, and then a repeater with that repeater running into the block next to your sticky piston. Now, place down a redstone torch next to your sticky piston. This should activate it, and then you want to go ahead and take out your structure blocks and cover over the redstone. And we'll go ahead and do it on the other side just so they match. Now, if we take out our button, place it on the block next to the cauldron, when we activate it, the redstone dust is powered, which will then in turn power the repeater, which will deactivate the torch because this block is now powered. And for a moment, it will turn off our piston, pulling the cauldron back under the flowing water source that we'll add in. So let's go ahead and get the water in. So first off, place a temporary block on the front on your cauldron, and then place a stair facing the rear of the build in front of that. And let's go ahead and break that out. Then you want to place structure blocks on either side of the stair, and then one more block on top of your piston. 
Now, take out your bucket of water and place it into the stair. This stair is now waterlogged. And then, once this is done, that is the build all set up. So if we activate our button, the cauldron goes back, the water flows down, and our cauldron is full. And if we take out our the water, one, two, three, activate it again. The cauldron is full and ready to provide us with water for all of our hydration needs. Having a convenient infinite water source is an important feature of any Minecraft base. And while there are other ways to do the same thing, this build will hopefully give you a decorative option to do it. I hope you find this build useful and fun as you use it in your worlds. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, and also consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. My name is Glitch, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.